good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing all well. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of a simple makeup routine, like a winter look one. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to work out first and now I'm going to show you. Okay guys, so I just finished my workout. Oh, there we go. Just finished my workout and now I'm going to go and make a little protein shake. And now I'm going to show you guys how I do my little simple winter makeup routine. I was supposed to go out with the coffee with the girls, but they cancelled, which is fine. It is such a grim day. Let me see if I can zoom up on this. Ugh. So we don't want that. So <laughs> let me just zoom back out again. So yeah, we're going to meet tomorrow. So I'm going to have some coffee with my boyfriend instead later on when he finishes work. But for now, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to... I have a little protein shake. I'm going to show you guys what protein I have as well. It's vegan and then it makes me not bloated because I'm someone, I have IBS. So I get bloated at pretty much everything and anything. But this does not make me bloated. It doesn't make me have all those gases and all those everything. Just, it's fantastic. So I'm going to show you guys which one I use. So let's go. Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about my protein powder. So I've tried millions and millions and millions of different flavours, different brands, and they all made me bloated. They all made me have all this gas, and it was just horrible. And I've just discovered this one. I actually got the wrong flavour. It's supposed to be, I think, peanut butter something something. Because I, I love peanut butter, almond butter. But it's actually chocolate mint brownie. And actually, it's not a bad taste, to be honest. And for, let me try and find it, 30 grams, you get 26 grams of protein. Obviously, if you put almond milk in or whatever, it, it has more protein. It goes up to about 30 grams of protein. So that's brilliant. And I always use that after my workouts. So I, let me just show you guys. So I always use this to help me measure out the cups and I'll just shake it in here. I always use water. Also, I've just found these guys on Amazon. It's called Go Bites and oh my god, like they are so delicious. I've started to buy packs. So it's just so it's just so, so much easier and these are like so delicious and they're vegan. And the protein balls, just letting you know guys. And also gluten free, which is what I need. And for these, you get 16 grams of protein each bar. They're vegan and very, very low on sugar as well. And I've got chocolate caramel, which is really delicious. So yeah, this is one of those guys. So 16 grams, you get about 10 grams. And you can get two of them. It's hazelnut and cacao, cacao which is really nice. And I'm going to have these as well. So I like to have these as snacks. And then I have this after my workout. Mm. Here we go guys and it's super yummy. I'm just going to finish this off and then we're going to go do some makeup together. Hi guys, so I'm upstairs now, finished my protein shake. I just want to quickly give you a little life hack that I've done many many times before. So you get these masks or whatever mask you get, right? And obviously it has hyaluronic acid, whatever you choose, what goes in it. But life hack here, what you should do is when you have this, you should then keep this, the packaging, because it actually has the serum inside still. So obviously you use the mask to soak in the serum, but obviously you still got the leftover serum. So I put it on my face. So get your money's worth. Also talking about skincare, I've just put that Garnier serum on, the hyaluronic acid. I'm also gonna talk a little bit to you guys about hair care. Now I actually never used to care too much about my hair, I just used to wash it, that's it. But I've been trying out, because I'm such a stressy person as well, I just had exam season, my hair was just coming out in clumps, and my hair isn't the thickest of hairs out there. So I've started to use Pretty Gorgeous by Holland and Barrett. Quickly let that zoom up to you guys. It's vegan, and it's um, these gummies you take every morning, at night, it depends, one a day. It has loads of vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, C, vitamin, <laughs> vitamin, vitamin, uh, B6, B12, acid, bitumen, which is obviously what we need for the hair, which helps it, iodine and zinc. 
obviously the Bitamin, I think you pronounce it. Vitamin, it um, it helps thicken your hair and it makes your hair grow more. And literally, since I've been taking these, I have had absolutely no hair loss whatsoever. Guys, you've literally got to try this. Things like twelve pounds a pack, like it's incredible. And you get and you get thirty, yeah, thirty in the vegan. He says they're they're fantastic. So I have them for my hair. But also, guys, also, also, also. Let's say, I don't wash my hair every day because I'm trying to get the natural oils in it and it's actually not good for your hair. So what I do is I use this Tresemme shampoo, dry shampoo, and it's a volumizing one. It really helps with the volumizing, volu <laughs> with the volumizing because as I said, my hair is so thin. Also, if I come out of the shower, I love to use this mousse from Tresemme as well. I put it on damp. To wet hair and then I blow dry and it just gives me such a great volume. Get these in super drug anywhere like that boots. And obviously once I put that on the mousse I put on this which is just a heat protector helps with your split ends and then I blow dry my hair. Now when the days before the night before I have a shower in the morning what I do if my hair or before I do that when I do that, I use bedhead and it makes your hair really shiny after I blow dry my hair. Going on to the bit where my hair, if it's like greasy in the, the night before and I'm going to plan to have a shower in the morning, what I do is put oils in it. So I use this, the gold series one. It's got castor oil in and it's just hydrating and it's so good for your hair when you have a shower and then when you do these routines with these it's just amazing together and i do these on the ends the l'oreal one again super drugstore anywhere like that my friend recommended me this and i absolutely I literally guys i love it i absolutely love it and look how much i've used already insane it lasts for ages and i just love it and it's all hair types as well it has vitamins in it and it's just fantastic so just a little bit about my hair, hair care, I guess. A little bit about my hair care, and I'm going to show you guys my makeup routine. so here we are so like i just said i've just put that serum on my face also just quick oh my god look at this look at this look at this look, look at the cute little presents the little little tiny tiny little christmas tree i've got <laughs> of course you have to have a little star on that but anyway yeah so let's put it there with the christmas tree so yeah um just put that serum on my face obviously talk to you guys about my little hair routine what i do it's in a bun at the moment just to get out my face the makeup so guys i'm going to start off with moisturizer of course so today i'm going to use i've started to use this obviously guys you don't have to use this but as you can see a lot's going on in the face i use um studio cream at the night and in the daytime just on my chin nowhere else no no no, no nowhere else i use the bio oil it just helps with the color that happens after you've had spots the scarring because I get that because I have such fair skin, it is a lot more obvious as well. Okay, now that I've applied the bio oil, I'm just going to quickly pack that away. I'm going to use a, another serum, which is called Via Skin. You get it in Holland and Barra, any kind of drugstore. And it has vitamin C and collagen boosting serum, because I'm getting to that age now. We're going to have to have a little bit of a booster on that. And vitamin C really makes your face really glowy and I just I love it so just just comes one of these little bottles you know and all you do is just have a little squirt really guys it's nothing more than this please and quickly shut it afterwards so it doesn't get to it too much and I'm literally just gonna rub it in my fingers because did you know I only found this out the other day you don't have pores in your fingers so when you do this, it helps heat it up and activate the ingredients. And I never knew that. 
so very lightly of course under the eyes just really like a half love shape and the crease of your eye and go round that feels really nice again I take the ingredients a little bit which is smooth my face is gonna look really shiny now <laughs> And next up we're going to use the Clinique Under Eye Cream, helps with the puffiness. And it comes in a little pot like this. And what I'm going to do, again like the same as the serum, just put a little bit on my finger and just rub it together. Activate those ingredients. And we're just going to, I was a little routine, you do all corners of the face shown okay and we're gonna use the Clinique just a little moisturizer so not all the makeup gets clodged in your pores this helps protect it and give your skin some radiance so we're just gonna put this all across the body so now that I'm all moisturised up, I've started this new brand and I'm so excited, it makes my brows look so nice. Has everyone heard of Jess Hunt? I think you have. Um, yes, you know it. I've brought the Refi brow kit, I've brought the whole kit. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So she uses the glue part first. I'm going to show you one brow, then I'll do the other brow off the camera. <laughs> it's going to be a long process. Not too long, but it'll be boring for you guys to watch both brows. So I'll just show you the one for now. Really lift those up. Uh, so. Okay. And then after that, you pull that in. You push. You push. You pull, sorry. <laughs> and you get this. So we're going to use the lighter side first and it helps shape the brow as so. Then we're going to use the other side, the more harsher side to get the definition in, get that shape. like this and then what we have is to refill it in fill in parts that you know you don't have much hair or something I'm just gonna put a little bit on here like that I'm just gonna go up the side Oh look, already, what is this lighting? <laughs> there we go. Just gonna fill in the areas that I think need filling where I don't have much hair. compared to this so far they're all up and it's just so shapey and I'm just, oh, I love it I love it I love it okay now once we've done that we can actually make like lash lines like not lash lines sorry eyebrow lines and it's it's insane like, I'll show you what I mean so we get this thin one I don't know if it's gonna fix let me get my head off it and it just it really helps put in some more eyebrow lines if you want it I personally really love this one this lighting is killing me <laughs> it's really killing me here it's just great Okay, now that I've done the brows, 
Oh my god, look at them! Ah, oh, it looks so natural as well. I love it. I'm gonna quickly brush out my lashes. I've just got them done. Ah, oh, love it. Ready for the festive season. Oh, I literally love this time. Literally, my friend who I work with, she's got me so into the festive season. Like, I'm just so ready for it. Yeah, you can see my jeans as well in the back. I've got some. I've got a bit of everything. I've got gin, rum, whiskey. Bailey's now, but the funny thing is I don't really drink. I just like to have it. So occasionally, so when I'm sat here in bed or chilling with my friend or something, I'll be like, do you want a drink? You know, and I have a selection. It's quite nice, but I don't actually drink that much. So, which is quite funny. But anyway, okay, it's concealers. I'm a bit of a weird one at the moment. Um, I like to use three different concealers um, because I don't use foundation because I feel like the outside, it really dries up your face dries up that foundation so I don't wear foundation at the moment I'm just wearing concealer so I'm using this is quite new I actually only bought this I think a week ago actually it's the Maybelline one New York fit me and it's in the shade oh 30 I'm just gonna quickly apply this first to under my eye and the areas of discoloration spots under my eye bridge of my nose and the top as shown okay and then after that i'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty blender you know i try not to use too much makeup try and make it look as natural as possible because we don't want we want to obviously be seen to have a little bit of makeup on, see that beauty, but not over the top. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Unless, of course, you go to you know, have clubbing with the girls out there, you know, then it's a different situation. Of course, you apply more, but just every day, winter look, going even just to work because I'm waitressing, you know, <laughs> just a little bit doesn't harm. Just gonna blend this all in. And the top part as well. I'm gonna use the Revolution one. So here we go. This is the shade F9. Um, I literally just put in the crease of my eye, basically where I've just gone. I like to go over the top of it with different shades. I don't just use the one. If I'm not wearing foundation, I'll do this. If I am wearing foundation, I do just use the one concealer. Just because the first one I used, I didn't realise how orangey it was, and normally I use it. I don't have it with me now, but I usually use it with my more coloured foundation, which is from Rimmel London, I think. That's when I use that concealer, but with a bare face, because I'm so pale at the moment, because it's winter, Christmas time, you know, I need the sun. I'm going to use a lighter concealers of course to match the face but in the summer I get more tanned in the face so I use that one or if I'm using that dark foundation I'll use that darker concealer pulling it here here and then it ends up going all over my body <laughs> all over my face let me know in the comments if you do that as well guys I do that all the time I put I start to apply a little bit and then it just ends up going all over my face <laughs> So this one that I've just applied, this is the Rimmel London one. It's exactly the same. This really helps tones up those under eyes, the discolorations. And then I don't need to do it again throughout the whole of the day. That's that's the plan, that's what I do. And it might seem extreme using three different, and it is, but you know, you can just use the one. It's completely up to you guys if you're at home, if you only have the one. But I just like to use three different ones. I don't know, I just really do. <laughs> so look at that, the lines have gone for now. Okay, and because I'm in a veil on the face, I'm gonna use, I think this was, ah, there we go, Revolution, but it's all come off at the front. <laughs> we know how our girls it is, we know what it's like, we know what it's like. So I'm gonna use actually all four. <laughs> So we'll start off with this one and work our way up to the pinky colour and then we're going to use the highlighter. I'm just going to use this brush. I just love it, it's such a bronzy colour. 
and it just brings out a little bit of colour to your face so you don't look like you're dead. <laughs> That's what my mum says. Brings out colour so it doesn't look like you're so dead. I'm just gonna do it under the cheekbone. Now when I'm doing this I don't apply too much as I don't as I'm not wearing that foundation so I don't apply it too much. I'm gonna use the darker shade just to go a little bit closer to this corner here. show you guys oh, look as natural as we can do the same on the other side with the darker bronze I just love these colours oh it really compliments as you, as you can tell I love brown <laughs> love it love neg dash graham undercase graham and yeah uh, all, all of it's just pretty much brown clothes <laughs> and when I go out it's just brown creams, beiges or blacks <laughs> I really like those colours now we're going to use a bit more of the pinky colour just we're going to put this on my cheeks just bring up that rosiness I don't really have some girls have like that rosiness to the cheeks but I don't have it so we're just going to bring that out a little bit though. Perfect. now we're going to use the highlighter Ooh. <laughs> the highlights for you guys. I'm just gonna go up here. Bring some sparkle winter look. Sparkle bring bring that nice healthy looking glow. And yeah I'm just gonna do a little bit of the brows. Actually I use different different products for different things on your face. Sometimes I may use my gazilla for like a foundation pretty much or sometimes I use my blusher for an eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. I'm just going to use a little brush and I'm just going to use the lighter one. See how that is for now. I'm just going to put it on the crease of my eye and it's going to work upwards. Oh, that brings a nice shine. And now that I've done the other eye, I've just used the highlighter and just put it here a little bit on my nose. I put it at the crease of my eyes and on top of my brows just to give that shiny look and now I'm going to use the backstage face and body no powder powder here we go and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and my forehead just so we don't have that sweaty look I really just bring this all into play Oh god, I love it. Oh, just gonna go up and up. Look, I'm going to choose for my lips the number seven, this colour. Absolutely love it. And it's just one like like a pencil one. It's just a lipstick and just not too much. I don't want too much of it on. gonna put a little bit on just to put some color on the lips so here we go guys this is the final look I might put a little bit of a little gold earrings in and there we have it this is my winter every day just a little quick glow up face routine the makeup that I use um, absolutely love it it's really glowy but it's not too much is it and it's just really easy to do obviously I've done it slower for you obviously to show you guys but for me it probably takes me 10 minutes a day 10 minutes maybe not even if that and I really love these earrings aren't they so cute and they've got like little white little crystals all over it just gonna quickly apply these guys with the earrings the whole look actually I'm going to give you a little bit of an outfit check as well today because why not so today I'm wearing the cardigan just to keep me warm this is from this is from real thing I've got this bodysuit on at the moment this is 
frumpery little thing as well. And then I've got the jeans. The jeans are from Motel Rocks. And then my shoes. These are from Topshop. And the jacket, the suit that I wear. I'll put it on for you guys. Ooh. I'm going to wear this out later, not in the house. But this is from Motel Rocks, this suit. You can tell I love a bit of Motel Rocks. And probably bag-wise, what I would wear. Let's have a look in the drawer of bags. Look at all these bags. Crazy! I'm going to wear probably this one. And you'll never guess where I brought this from. Whoa, look at that brown. I love brown, I love brown creams gonna go with this I think but yeah I got this on Primark I know and this will be the look for today guys so yeah anyway I really hope you enjoyed my little vlog today um, just a little bit about my hair care routine what I do to make it nice and long and shiny and the kind and the skincare routine actually added in a bit today as well the creams i used before i used the makeup and of course the makeup routine i i showed you as well guys the quick one it'll take you obviously a lot less than what i do but i was obviously showing you in a slower way but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed it um i was thinking of doing an ahos ahos <laughs> an asos haul um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that and I'm also going to show you guys maybe like a little haul of the clothes that I wear so I'm just going to show you guys obviously I've got the purple here don't wear much purple but you can tell it's like a lot of browns going on you know a lot of creams beiges pink and maybe like I'll add some shoes and bags to it and then show you guys where I shop where I get my things from and where uh, where I get them from so yeah um Please like and subscribe, and please down in the comments let me know if you want to have that in the next videos. I've got some ab workouts coming as well. <laughs>